It was a good first scrimmage. You know, it's the earliest that, that I've had a team in spring practice, you know, scrimmage, you know, getting out there for pr pr practice five. You know, I thought it was a uh, good opportunity for, for guys to see you know, exactly, you know, where they are with, you know, no coaches, no extra assistance, uh, having to go out there and communicate, operate, uh, you know, understand the play that you have, but also, you know, the, the details and the fundamentals. And, uh, you know, for the most part, I thought the guys did a really good job of uh, understanding the play. Um, you know, it was, it was definitely, you know, uh, thought it was a lot better than what I really expected, um, you know, in the, in the understanding of what to do, we've got to continue to improve on how to do it. And the techniques and the fundamentals, uh, some things with our footwork and our eyes, uh, you know, those are all things that get an opportunity to go and get better. But, uh, you know, I thought there was you know, really good plays. I thought the defense, uh, you know, was, was really good, you know, for the majority of the scrimmage. Um, you know, I thought they was speed and physicality that definitely showed up, you know, some impactful plays. Uh, you created a couple fumbles, uh, were able to, uh, uh, to, to see the, the talent and ability that, that I believe we have on that side of the ball. And, uh, you know, I thought the offense did a good job of responding. Uh, we had some missed opportunities, uh, you know, some you know, definitely some – some throws we'd like to have back, uh, but, you know, also, you know, there were some missed opportunities where we had a chance to finish a play and, and didn't. And, uh, uh, but then, you know, we're, so there were some explosive moments. Yeah. Um, Wade Benson had a touchdown. You know, Cam Davis had a, had a touchdown. Like, cause I, there was, there were some, some guys that, uh, you know, definitely, uh, we showed up, uh, you know, and had, had some explosive plays. So, uh, I like what I'm seeing. I thought the newcomers, you did a good job. You know, Landon, Landon Thomas showed up. And, you know, did some really good things. Uh, you know, Jay Lucas, you know, got in space a, a couple times. Um, you know, really just, uh, I thought it was a, a good overall work day, uh, you know, for our guys and uh, what we needed to do for scrimmage one. So that'll take questions. First question is going to come from Tommy Meyer. Hey, Coach. Um, with with spring practice and like in like all the construction going on, have there been any challenges through scrimmage or or or, or th through the practice? Like, have you noticed any challenges like with with all the construction going on? No, I mean there was you know obviously there's there's different elements of, but we had plenty of space and. Uh, you know, I guess distractions with just with construction going on, but uh, ultimately it was still it was good to be able to get in the stadium and uh, you know, for guys to be able to, to get work uh, out there on the field. This will be Chris Dean. Hey, Mike, was wondering how much did you guys mix and match on the offensive line on the day and just in general? How did that group hold up? No, I mean, I thought they uh, did some good things. You know, there was we tried to mix, you know, quite a bit, and uh, you know, roll different personnel groupings uh, with the with the five, uh, and that's something we try to do. You know, regardless, you know, just throughout the uh, uh, spring practice, and you're gonna see that, uh, you know, you know, quite a bit. But uh, uh, you know, I thought they did I did a, a solid job. There were some you know, some plays that you know it's gonna be a lot lot cleaner just in our in our communication, uh, but. Uh, you know, I thought there, you know, for the most part, there was a, a solid performance. You know, with uh, obviously all the quarterbacks have looked good so far this spring, but um, DJ having so much experience, did that kind of give him, was that obvious going in the stadium or did Brock kind of have that too, since he's played in, in some games as yeah. well? Well, I mean, you know, you still look at, you know, Brock has it does have a year within the system, and you know there's uh, you know I, I would say that you know, even right now Brock has probably a little bit more confidence maybe in you know, some of the things that he's being asked to do. Uh, so we've thrown a lot in, in the installations in the first you know, four days. Uh, you know I think DJ has done really well in grasping really well. Um, you know in, in his overall understanding, but now it's just a competition, and he needed a day like today. And there were some really good moments. There were some you know some plays where it kind of as I resorted back to, you know, maybe not the cleanest in his footwork or in his fundamentals, but like that's what today's all about. It's to, uh, to because they've been good. I mean, I've been really good those first four days. And I uh, thought Brock had some good moments. He had some challenges on. I tell you, you know, I thought Luke was our first scrimmage. I thought Luke was outstanding. Um, you know, we, we really gave him uh, you know, that, that, his last couple of drives. And we tried to put him in his hand, let him kind of have to move the ball down the field. And I, I saw it as he, 
as he got into the scrimmage, you know, I thought he really did a nice job of uh, being able to go and execute. So it was, it was good for all those guys to have positive moments. But then, you know, there's there were definitely some plays and things that we got to clean up when it comes to just you know the, the, the finer details, and, and that will definitely that will definitely come with with more repetition. That's me, Kurt Weiler. Hey, Mike, you, you talked about the uh, the the plays on defense. I guess what role did uh, the defensive line have and maybe affecting the quarterbacks, affecting some of those throws you said they they probably want back? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I think you got guys, you know, you know I know Pat had, a, had an early sack. Um, you saw you know, Daryl Jackson definitely flash. Uh, you saw Marvin Jones, you know, uh, you know, uh, Sione, um, Tony, Mel, all those guys, you know, I thought had, had good moments. Fire Turner just showed up. Um, it was, and it's a mix. It's not just in passing game, but I'm, I'm looking for the impact in the run game. Um, you'll be able to create penetration. Um, you know, there were some, there were some plays that, that got out on us. And, you know, I think the, the technique and fundamental uh, you know, elements of, of uh, you know, what we're doing to make sure we're keeping our eyes where they need to be, uh, you know, be big and be a big correction coming off of uh, off of this this practice, but um, you know I thought I thought the defensive front uh, you did, did a really solid job. Back to Chris. You always talk about how you like seeing how newcomers, especially freshmen, respond that first time in Doak. How did that group beyond Luke? You already talked about how did they handle it. I thought they did good. Um, you know, you, Roy McCoy made a couple of really nice plays. I mentioned Landon, you know, Cam Davis, uh, you know, looked like he definitely belonged out there. Um, you know, he was rolling with all, all the different groups. Um, you know, had a couple of real explosive plays. So, um, you know, I thought that was that was definitely good to see, um, you know, defensively. Uh, you know, definitely some flashes uh, you know, for, from, from guys there, you know, uh, not only in the defensive backfield, but, but uh, you know, also just you know, throughout the defense. I thought those those young linebackers, you know, for them to be able to get that speed work was good. Uh, and, you know, we'll, we'll get a chance to watch the film and, and really get a better better sense of, you know, what that looked like. All right. You know? I really know we can hear you, but we say you're let your mouth. First, uh, first scrimmage of the spring. Sorry, coach. You do that on purpose. No, I wish I could say I did, but no. That would be uh, really cool if you did. Malik, uh, Malik has been a guy that you've talked up off the field and, and in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, just has he been everything you guys hoped he would be or or even more? Uh, I mean, you know, we had big expectations. Um, you know, he came in. Uh, is that something that we knew too? You know, but in the previous part of, of recruitment, uh, just a sense of who he is, the talent and ability that he had. Um you know, he did play, you know, a good amount. Maybe he didn't have the, you know, the catch production, but, uh, you know, you see talent and ability, you know, I felt that uh, it was something that we could continue to help you know, him and you know, provide opportunities to, to showcase that you know, in, in a variety of ways. And, you know, he hasn't disappointed in, in any of those things. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited about that group. I think our receiver group, you know, they could definitely run. Um, you know, they were some, you know, some big plays that they had out there. And, um, you know, I think he's, he's definitely, you know, going to be a part of, of uh, a lot of different things that we can do. And uh, his speed, athletic ability, uh, he scored, you know, he scored a touchdown on a, you know, really a short pass where he showcased his, you know, your running ability after the catch, which I was really, really pleased to see. So being Perry. Coach, with it being such an early scrimmage in the practice schedule, did you still have referees out there? And if yes, why? How do you think your team did with uh, overall penalties? Yeah, you know, we had ACC officials, and that was uh, you know we've been uh, having a big focus on cleaning up you know our hand placement and you know trying to trying to do the best job possible of uh, uh, you know eliminating uh, you know, any potential penalties. And and there were a few that showed up today, and it was you know it's technique, it's fundamentals, it's things that you have to continue to work and develop. Uh, but there it wasn't uh, you know I would say excessively sloppy. There were a few you know focus penalties, or a few you know things that showed up. But uh, you know for sometimes you know, new new guys coming in and you know, different experiencing uh, different things. I thought they handled themselves pretty well. And, um, you know, I've seen areas for a group, but I thought, they, I thought they did a nice job. All right, Chris. You mentioned a couple fumbles, if I recall correctly. Was it a good example of guys jarring the ball loose or was it bad ball security? I know it's always kind of a catch-22 with practice when it comes to those things. Yeah, no, I mean, it was a uh, – 
first to start off with, you know, aggressiveness to the ball. And that's something that, you know, for us defense, I mean, we've been, we've been emphasizing as much as, as we, we probably ever have just uh, in, in trying to incorporate that in the old drills. You try to create more opportunities and you see that showing up and, you know, we were able to, to get a couple balls out, um, you know, which was, was definitely good to see. And, you know, I think, you know, even even in times where the ball doesn't come out, you know, we're coaching the ball security element of an offense, but we want it to be better. It's something we take a lot of pride in. Um, and so, you know, an opportunity for for offensive guys to to grow, you know, coming out of the scrimmage. All right. Last one's gonna come from Kurt. What what did you see, I guess, from from the the linebacker group? It seems like a guy a group with a, a lot of guys with, with something to prove this spring. And I guess we've talked a lot about the quarterbacks handling the headsets, but those guys, a lot of them are wearing headsets too. How is that working for them so far? Oh, you know, I mean, I thought dude, DJ Lundy looked like you know we need him to look. I mean, he was he was flying all over the field, saw physical plays. You know, he was uh, um, you know working in his communication. Um, you know, I'm excited about about that group. You know, uh, I think you look at that next group of guys that are trying to really emerge and, and put themselves in position, whether it's, uh, you know, Blake Nicholson, uh, you know, Justin Cryer, you know, Sean Murphy. I mean, and then some of those, you know, new, the, the younger guys, whether it's uh, DeMarco Ward or, you know, you know, uh, you know obviously you know, Jaden Knights at in time here. I mean, that's like, that's a fun group to, to see compete because they are talented. They, they have ability, they can run. Um, you know, it's just the, the finer details of the communication that, you know, keeping their eyes where they're supposed, supposed to be. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, that group has been one of the, you know, like I said, pleasant surprises for me throughout you know, these uh, early practices because, you, you know, uh, their fits are, they're good with their fits, they're good with communication. They're still working on, on some of the elements of the coverages, uh, but that can all be expected there early. And, uh, but, you know, I would say that you know, their progression is uh, probably a little further ahead of where, you know, I might have even expected, you know, of, of where they are. And I'm excited about what that group's going to continue to develop to be. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Coach. All right, that'll wrap us up for today. We will 